And since we're discussing economies, how can we not talk about China, the world's second largest economy? How are they faring? They plunged into darkness, quite literally. Let me show you some pictures from Shanghai. This is the famous Shanghai skyline, a symbol of a developed China. It has now been forced to switch off the lights because China is facing a power crunch. So much so that officials have issued orders to ration power supply. And they're going to great lengths to save electricity. I have some more photographs for you. This is an office in China's Sichuan province. It looks like a sweatshop. Only the computers are running here. The employees are working without any lights, air conditioners or even fans. I wonder if there's a ban on charging their mobile phones too. Then we have this picture. Giant blocks of ice have replaced air conditioners in this office. Again, this is from China, Sichuan. Last week, this province ordered power cuts for just six days. Now that order has been extended to 11 days. So perhaps offices in Sichuan will need more ice because they're not getting any electricity anytime soon. China is facing its longest and most severe drought in a long time. 66 rivers in 34 provinces have dried up. Rainfall is down by 60%. And remember, China depends heavily on hydropower for its electricity. 90% of China's power supply needs extensive water resources. So when there's no water, there can be no electricity. China is famous for the Lesan Buddha statue. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the, the year 2020, these riverbanks witnessed a flood. There was so much water, it reached the toes of the statue. And now look at this. This is what the Lesan Buddha looks like today. The river banks near the statue have completely dried up. Over 5 million people are affected by the drought and power cuts in China. And there's no short-term relief in sight. These natural disasters are hitting the Chinese economy and their impact is expected to be as bad, if not worse, than the Wuhan virus pandemic. There's a sharp rise in factory shutdowns in China. Last week, 39 factories were closed. The week before that, almost 20 factories had to close their operations. So the numbers have more than doubled. And we don't know if the shutdown is temporary or permanent. Either way, these disruptions will hit the Chinese economy hard. The property crisis has already pushed China towards a recession. Everyone is feeling the impact. Here's a headline that's been doing the rounds. The rich are selling their Rolex watches and also on sale are luxury bags from Hermes. China has a major market for secondhand luxury goods. Suddenly, it is witnessing a lot of activity. The rich and wealthy are going to the sellers in droves. There is excess supply. The sellers have been forced to cut prices. It's simple economics. Supply is more than demand, so lower prices. So if you're into luxury goods, you could say that this is a silver lining in the dark cloud that is the Chinese economy. But here's a question. Why are the rich selling their luxury goods? Why are they selling their Rolex watches and their bags? To raise quick cash, that's according to one report, and it makes sense. In an unstable economy, cash is king. If the rich are struggling in China, you can only imagine what the middle class is going through. Beijing may not have formally declared a recession, perhaps it never will. But the people of China say they already feel it.